Hello friends, welcome to my new video <coughs> which will be on ionic equilibrium. I will be making part wise part on it. So the first part that I shall be taking will be basics and that will consist of uh, water and basic pH calculation. So let me begin. So in this chapter we shall be dealing with weak electrolytes. Weak electrolytes. So what are weak electrolytes? They have alpha less than 1 alpha is the degree of dissociation so it will be less than 1 so it means that they are not dissociated completely okay so what is pH pH is basically minus log of H plus concentration you have to take a minus log here okay for example if I say that H plus concentration is equal to 10 raised to power minus 7 molars then pH will be minus log of 10 raised to power minus 7 that will be equal to <coughs> 7 you must be familiar with the basics of log ok but if a question is asked like if H plus is equal to 10 raised to power minus 16 molars I want to clear a point here so if I get pH is equal to minus log of 10 raised to power minus 16 so that will be 16 but we all have learned that pH must belong to 1 to 14 but it is not the case because pH is just a scale if we have a scale of 30 centimeters it does not mean that 40 centimeters does not exist so that is the same case here so if in the examinations it is asked that we have given H plus is equal to 10 to the power minus 16 molars and pH is equal to 16 so that is not wrong okay so basics of log are familiar to you so I'll just begin with the concept so water first of all I would like to find the concentration for water so concentration of water will be 1000 upon 18 on calculation we'll get 55.55 molars okay so, uh, then I will find the Kw for water that is the equilibrium constant ok so first of all I will be finding at 25 degrees celsius that is the STP conditions we are taking so H2O goes into H plus plus OH minus we take the concentration of H plus to be 10 raised to power minus 7 and we take the concentration of OH minus to be 10 raised to power minus 7 at 25 degrees celsius it is fixed ok so what I, I get Kw for H2O will be H plus into OH minus so that will be 10 raised to power minus 7 into 10 raised to power minus 7 so I get 10 raised to power minus 14 remember the equilibrium constant only depends on the temperature not on any other factors so if I change the temperature then only Kw changes not with the concentration or pressure ok so now we'll like, I would like to take the log on both sides see what I am getting Kw is equal to H plus into OH minus ok now take log on both sides I will be deriving some things here so log of Kw will be log of H plus plus log of OH minus ok now do a minus log so minus 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 ok so minus log of something will be P K W and minus log of H plus will be pH pH minus log of OH minus concentration will be POH so what I get basically P K W is equal to pH plus POH now let me derive the next relation what is basically pkw that will be minus log of I am taking at 25 degrees celsius so minus log of 10 to the power minus 14 so that will be 14 so ph plus poh is equal to 14 ok now let me take the next thing see first case what is a neutral solution it means concentration of H plus must be concentration of OH minus I, I take a minus log on both sides so minus log of H plus is equal to minus log of 
OH minus. So what is this? pH. What is this? pOH. See what I have derived lastly that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Put in this. So 2 pH is equal to 14 implies pH is equal to 7. So in the neutral solution we have pH is equal to 7. This all, we all have learned or crammed we can say. In a basic solution OH minus is greater than H plus. Taking minus log on both sides and solving you will get pH to be greater than 7. This is a simple calculation. You must remember that on taking a minus log the inequality will be reversed. That is simple mathematics. Okay. So okay let me do only. So minus log of OH minus must be greater than minus log of H plus but the inequality must have to be reversed. So it will be this way. So what is this? POH pH so I am adding both sides let me add pH on both sides see I am adding pH on both sides of the inequality so 2 pH is greater than 14 so pH must be greater than 7 so this is the condition for the basic medium basic medium similarly you can do for the acidic medium I hope this clears some of the concepts okay so now let me take the next concept if I have a question nature of solution is asked that is acidic basic or neutral at 90 degree celsius see it is 90 degree celsius now okay kw is equal to 10 is to power minus 13 for water then at pH is equal to 7 question mark it means I have to find that at pH is equal to 7 I have a basic solution neutral solution or acidic solution see th the temperature changes the kW changes so you must remember that okay so pKW will be pH plus pOH that will be minus log of H plus uh, minus log of H plus plus minus log of OH minus so pKW will be 13 you have to take a minus log of this okay so let me find out which condition the solution is neutral so at neutrality you can say that H plus is equal to OH minus so it implies pH of pH of H plus is equal to pH of OH minus so these both must be equal so putting here so 2 pH is equal to 13 so pH is equal to 6.5 so this is the condition at which the solution is neutral the solution is neutral at this pH so I have been asked pH is equal to 7 so it is greater than 6.5 so it must be basic so see pH is equal to 7 at 90 degrees Celsius is not neutral it is basic in nature okay so this is some of the basics regarding the topic of water so next time I shall be teaching you about the pH and pOH calculation for four different cases so I hope these videos help and please give me some feedback in the comments regarding it thank you